Zenmik Shrine. Hi, Dearses. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to start off with the shrine, and then I'm going to kind of, while well, I'm in the shrine, a little bit, so long as, if I don't need to concentrate a whole lot, um, I'm going to tell you what I've been doing in between. So, I went around a whole bunch of Kakariko Village. I went into the depths. God, the depths are terrifying. Nintendo really made it terrifying. Scoop it out. Um... God, and my friends were saying that they're in cans, kind of like gig things, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I have not encountered it, and I'm a little terrified of it. So it is just very strange. What is happening? So is this a, I need a time reversal, right? Or do I need to, is there even a scoop down there? Uh, I may have overfilled it. Just a bit. <laughs> no wonder why. No wonder why it wasn't, uh, taking me anymore. Okay. So, so as I was saying, I was exploring the depths, terrifying, blah, blah, blah. So, I decided to go to Kak- not Kakariko, that's where I was at. Hateno. I decided to visit Hateno. And this is probably the first thing, it's not gonna be the last, I know for a fact, that I wished I had recorded when I first got to Hateno. Uh, not so much how the village was, my reaction to, and I'm, I'm going to show you it, in case, there's no way you're not gonna look at it, everyone's gonna look at it, but I still just kinda wanna share. So I'm in Hateno, now I have a travel point here, which is perfect. My, so, going to rephrase, there are mushrooms everywhere. What is it with gaming series right now in mushrooms? Like, mushrooms, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Apparently these are all art pieces of a famous clothing person who's in here, who... She reminds me of the lady from Triforce Heroes. I don't remember her name. I don't know if it was Cece. Uh, but basically I talked to her and she's starting a fight with the mayor and now they're doing a vote to be mayor. <laughs> and I have to give much to non cc Supporters. Hilarious. Did I talk to you before? I have not. No, I did talk. To, I did talk to you. No, I'm not going to talk to your dad, kid. So, I have to give them to seven farmers, essentially. People who are not wearing the mushroom hat. But this is what I want to show you. It's my house. My house. There's still a pot outside for cooking. If you go in the house, this was like the first thing I did was I need to see what it looks like. So all of the weapon stuff is gone from the walls. But you can see that there's now pictures on the wall. And I would want to assume, because these are so clear, that these are from the Pura Path for Zelda. There's a horse by the horse. Okay. But just, just of places and things. There's not much change here. And when we go upstairs... Like, oh, I didn't mean the, sorry, 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 I didn't mean to aim at you, but it's the picture from the DLC. It's in my house. That's why I know this is my house still, because of that. And I'm like, oh my god. And then up here, Zelda had a journal. And so this explains, you, you can read it yourself, that Zelda said that the people still had hope, and that made her hopeful. And so she was going to work on reconstruction. We already knew that from walking around Hyrule as part of it. They built a school? I have not visited the school. I have no idea what the school looks like. It's the large Hylian village. And she said there's this seemed perfect place. Simon is now working there. We remember him from the Sheikah lab. And uh, commissioned to Bolson to construct a school. And he added a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim by humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. Oh, I didn't hit the next page. Last page. So everything is going through, but we don't have enough teachers. Wow. 
what a surprise. Maybe, are you paying your teachers? Are you actually giving them normal times? Because you do know teachers, they're required to work the same hours of school. So it's about seven to three, essentially, for most teachers. But they have to do so much work after school that does not get paid. There's so much stuff that has to get paid after and stuff to supply for their classrooms aren't fully covered by the schools. So it's here. It's a secret well. And I forgot to glide. Thank God there's water. But look! She has her own little lab. The blooms were me because I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. She has this own little lab area with some pictures and she's got books and cut, like pictures from the kids. And it's so cute. And she has a diary. Look, a little cup and a quill and some more stuff. Ah! So when you read it, uh, there's a bunch of problems. No matter Link remains beside a kindness that has toll. And so she made us a new and improved champion's tunic. But apparently it's in the throne room in the sky. <laughs> you would never expect that the torches are the key. Uh, so now I know that when I inevitably get to Hyrule Castle, I gotta go to the throne room. But that also makes me think then that Hyrule Castle is not the final destination like last time. Which actually makes sense because in the sky, I don't know if you can really see it. You can't really see it from here. But I did notice it is that there's this giant swirling thing in a distance or something like the rings that's kakariko but yeah i just it's a, it's a big swirly thing it reminded me of once again skyward sword the cursed statue is not here i did try to look for him he does not exist so that's okay um i did find pose pose are in the depths terrifying they're like blue little wisps which is okay uh, it's nighttime. People might be sleeping. So, we're gonna continue on up. I'm not gonna go to the school. I'm lab. Because the lab should be available. Oh, mumble, mumble. Oh, yeah, this dude, by the way, want, or no, it's Manny. There's, there was the dude in Breath of the Wild who was talking about the girl Prima. They got married. Ah! Okay, so this dude's in love, too. Okay. Love's fire burns forever. What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly. <laughs> you look like you've been peaceful in the old village. It's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the moves on Miss Ivy. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. Ivy, you forgot the miss always. Add the miss. Oh, a proper gentleman. Miss Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to toss Ivy. Just keep the naive, I just moved here and won't somebody show me around act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashionist as me. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Ivy at East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of a friend wanted advice, and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Let me know if you think of something. Nanny's beloved. Oh, Blood Moon? Oh, of course. The Blood Moon comes more frequently. Hi, Venetia. My kitty cat's here. Venetia. Hi, Ben. Yes. Are you gonna stay with me? I'm gonna let it go all dark and creepy. Do, 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 do. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines. Shines upon the land. Oh, you. You don't have a mushroom hat. Have a Hylian shroom. Oh. What's this? Something from CC? Yeah, pretty obvious from the look of it. You know, people keep talking up the CC brand stuff, but it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Uh. For sure, thanks for the mushroom. That's mighty nice of you. Okay, well. 
That's one out of eight. Okay, so we're gonna go on up to the places I haven't been yet. Hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until the fad dies down. I never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something not related to the inn? Have a shroom. You know what it means. Oh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too into the designs myself, but she is pretty pleased with them. And she does look incredibly cute when she wears them, too. That CC is in my book, and I'm not the only. Koyan from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Okay, well, that's two, because I just happened to see him. Yeah. Evening. Nice night under the be to be under the stars, isn't it? It's rare to see travelers out here, unless... Uh-oh. You haven't come to steal away my darling wife, have you? <laughs> I'm just kidding you. No doubt you're here looking for the farm or the research lab. What farm? Do you do? Oh, were you not on your way to Hateno Pasture up ahead? I know most folks here are obsessed with CC brand fashion right now. But the best thing about the village is, will be, the bounty of its farmlands. Have a ball of our freshly squeezed milk and you'll know what I mean. If you weren't headed to the farm, maybe you were looking for the research lab? Research lab? Huh? So you weren't on your way to the hill to the research lab of a f well, just as well, I suppose. The lab's empty. Pura and Robbie, the researchers who used it, have gone off to look out landing near Hyrule Castle. <laughs> what darling wife. <laughs> Sorry, but nothing comes between us. Not you. I'm at my wife's village. Off of here. It's the most beautiful in Hateno village. Maybe even all of Hyrule. The two of us have always guarded the windmills and shifts. Except something bad is happening in her hometown, and she's been pretty broken up about it. She's at home now, resting. Oh. I picked this spot because you can see both windmills and my house clearly from here. If anything happens, I can come running at once. So are we done here? I don't want to dig my eyes off the windmills or the house for too long. Yep, we're done. Thanks. What's your name? Rhodes. Rhodes, you're a good husband. You're husband material. <laughs> you are a husband. Just saying that you're, you're a material girl. Uh, okay, so there's this place. There's a puppy. Cows! I don't really remember cows. I'm sunk without it. Mm -hmm. How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? But it's so dark. And anyways, I can't swim. Huh? What's with that blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. What's that you got there? Have a Hylian shroom. Ah. Hmm, from Cece, huh? But I can see you mean well enough with the gifts. I'm happy, Dix. Thanks. You're here on the farm. It's my dad. Want he's. A I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond. Quick! I finally found the letter from my great grandpa. The gr the letter my great grandpa left, but I can't reach for it. My arms are too short. Pond's too deep to swim in. Anyways, I don't know how. But that letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. Okay. Well. Over there. Hmm? Well, you're a new face round here, if I'm any judge. Welcome to Hateno Pasture. Didn't think I'd be getting any visitors in this rain. Hmm, you got something for me? Have highly insured. Getting what's the from Cece? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift. But me and my daughter, Koyan, an old man talk, don't care much about clothes. What use is fashion in the field, right? Still, I'm glad that's all you came for. If you told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, I'd have been in a tight spot, make no mistake. Fresh milk? Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in Hateno. The secret's in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little oomph, you know, that you don't get anywhere else. Except I haven't been, I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking over and grabbing them all for themselves. Sometimes they'll drop the acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them, but they're quick little critters. I need at least three acorns. I have some. More than a kind gesture. Okay. Daggum squirrels breeding left and right. If I startle them, I'll drop. 
I don't have enough acorns? Yeah, I don't have acorns. I just have nuts. Okay. says you need a sail. Heh heh heh. Alright. Got your ladder and I did see a cave. Whatever you're after, I'm too busy to, huh? Yeah, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom! But how did you... You see those logs over there? It's not that hard. Did you fish it out for me? Thanks! There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. That letter is as big as your leg, girl. Your grandpa. Goodness gracious. Gosh, do I miss great grandpa's handwriting? Okay. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Wow. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with mayor. Cheese. Fermentation. Can't name. Too early. Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put Great Grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Hey, it's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for the help. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not just for our farm, but the whole village. I'm itching to get started. Okay, have fun. Okay, back to the cave, and also, do I have? I don't have enough acorns yet, right? I have to kill one more squirrel. I have to kill one more squirrel. Oh, a shrine in here. Oh, okay. This video's immediately going to be longer. Maya Hisik. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do the shrines while we're here. No, stop, stop, Link. We're going to do the shrine. Okay, shrine time. Never mind, it's a shrine for Robert's blessing, just for finding it. Okay, cool. I can do that. I'm happy with that. Magic Scepter. Ancient magician who awoke the latent power of gems. Ooh, okay, well, let's get rid of... You've been handy, so let's get rid of you. Strong, though. It's glittering up. Uh... Oh. Get rid of you. Look, it's a magic scepter. Am I supposed to say no to that? Okay, so that was like right by the... the place here. Okay. Oh! Hello. Talk, eh? What do you want with an old man like me? Have a shroom. You say this is from Cece? Well, that's generous of her. Thanks. What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately Cece's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. Makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors whenever I turn. My family and all my friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. Still and all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. Okay, well, I found you. <laughs> Need to get inside? Come find me. Oh, oh. okay. Well, 
he did say that. So that's why I'm like, okay, do I need to further Joshua's research first before I can do anything else? And I guess that answer was yes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so, well, that's what I was thinking, but it kind of made it seem like as though, oh, if I get there, you, we can talk and stuff, but that's apparently not the case. Uh, so let me go back down to Milk Farm here, so that way girl can give me her whatever, and so that way I can give him his acorns. Yeah, I, I killed some squirrels for you. They didn't give me meat. They gave me acorns. Yeah. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but have a bottle on me. Yay! Fresh milk! I was keeping it squirreled away, but no reason to be a miser about it now. Better go mix up a batch of feed right away to make an acorns. I'll swap you. For three acorns? Call it a special trade. Ooh! Noted. Oh my god. You guys are so funny. Pastures are great, huh? They've got so many cows. Yes, but only Hoteno Village are the cows as stylish as everyone else. Well, what do you say? We get ourselves some milk. Should we ask a farmer or... What do we do? Pitchfork? Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This one. Yay, there we go. Been obsessed with it. Yeah. No, thank you. Okay, so entrance. House. Girl. I knew it'd work. Ah, good, you showed up. Take a look at this. As I see darkness, okay. Oh, ha! Looks great! Cheese! Hateno cheese. That message my great-grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious, you'll think you're dreaming. Aww. But back to the reason I called you here. It's, well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. Yay! Yeah. As I understand it, great-grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Hateno cheese to put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The villagers rejected it. Having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now is the time for our tenor cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention, lady. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, it's this. It's time to... It's, I'd say it's time to do some renovation around here. I mean, yeah. Is she gonna put a bunch of cheese up? Please don't. Please. Oh my god. A Tenno cheese shop to get those folks over at the general store to start stocking it. You won't get this offer anywhere else, but I'll give you so I'll give you some for fresh milk instead of rupees. Oh my god! So you'll come visit me again, right? Wow! Twenty rupees. Wow! Oh, a recipe for the cheese pizza. <laughs> Okay, can I buy one more? Because I want to keep an extra. Okay, so I did tomatoes, tomatoes, rice, and cheese. Got it. Yeah, look at this little sign. So cute. Oh, old person. Yep. Uma. Uh. Oh. 
Ooh. Have a shroom. Enjoy. I guess I already gave one. Oh, kid, who are you? Nice evening, huh? Wait, do I know you, mister? I'm a traveler. Oh, yeah? You got good taste if you wandered here to Hateno Village. You should come to our shop. We'll dye your clothes and stuff. Stylish, huh? I mean, I won't do it. That's my dad's thing, still. Oops, gotta go. I'm supposed to be helping at the shop. Oh, it's 6 p.m. The school might not be... Going. A Zoom... Oh, you're the new teacher, aren't you? I'm Azu. Nice to meet you. My identity as the general store's owner's son is just a cover. I'm actually Azum, the big time hero. Oh, but you can't tell the adults around here. It's a secret. Of course it is. Kicking bad guy butts is way cooler when nobody knows it's you. Azum? I'm really Azum, the big time hero. Protect the school until Miss Zelda comes back. Find any bad guys? Old man Nax Field at the town entrance. I haven't seen any bad guys there so far. Most fashionable farmer, but he hangs out a lot with Reed, the village mayor. So I don't get it. Yeah, go back to patrolling, kid. Oh, this was a big open field over here, if I remember. Oh my gosh, there's some little tires and some things to do, like, the loop-de-loop -loop on. I don't know what... This is, this is so cute. Help wanted, apply to become a teacher. Want to show children the joy of learning? No experience necessary. No wonder why you're having a teeter, teacher shortage. Inquire at the school for more information. Prospective applicants are welcome to sit in on a lesson. Ooh. The music's kind of funky. Okay. Oh, Zelda. There's stuff on the walls. Books. Cuckoo. Um. Map of the area. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, <sighs> semen. Simon! Read the student evaluations? Okay. <laughs> you can't, you can't leave this stuff out. If you get audited, they're going to yell at you, get in big time trouble, you could potentially get fined, there could be issues. You're not supposed to leave personal information out about anything at all. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is all against code. This is all against code. <laughs> Aster is one of Meta's children. She's a very active girl. I believe we have Meta to thank for that charming bob cut she sports. She loves her father and always wants to talk about his comings and goings. Lately, she's been especially focused on the Hylian tomatoes Meta is growing. For a time, she seemed out of sorts after Miss Cece brought their house bought their house next to the clothing shop. But she was back to her usual bright self soon enough, noting that her new home is cute, colorful, and close to froggy. She has a real knack for finding the silver lining in every situation. Karen is the only daughter of the mayor and his wife. She's kind-hearted but shy and seems to lack self-confidence. She's very perspective perceptive, though. She has a way of seeing right to the core of things. I'm sure you know, Princess, that Mayor Reed has been breeding vegetables to appeal to the younger generation. It was Karen who first noticed that her peers were losing interest in the produce. She figured this out based on nothing but the number of customers and total items in stock at the general store. I see her one day becoming a scholar to rival Pura, possibly even surpassing her. Azu is the brother of Ivy from the general store, but he'll tell you his true identity is Azum, the big time hero. He and Safaro used to be inseparable, but ever since the dye shop started getting more clients, Azum has been left to patrol after school alone. Although his mother is Amira, one of the town gossips, he keeps a close eye of his 
own on the goings-on within the village. It may seem like a simple child's play, but people really do straighten up when they know they're being watched. As long as he's on patrol, I think we have nothing to fear in Hateno Village from any would-be evildoers. Oh my god. Sapphiro is the son of Sage from the dye shop. He's a bit of a firebrand, but also one of my brightest students. After class, he always selects a book to read quietly by himself. He already reads at an adult level and doesn't shy away from difficult subjects such as the calamity. The family business has been booming ever since Cece came to town, which may make it hard for him to study at home. Sage has an artisan spirit and would rather have his son helping out at the store than going to school. But everyone learns differently. I want our school to be a place where children can get an education no matter their needs. I understand you'll be heading soon to Hyrule Castle to investigate the reports of strange phenomena there. I trust you'll be fine with Link at your side. Nevertheless, I can't shake this strange tightness in my chest. It's similar to what I felt right before the Calamity, come to think of it. The children know you as Miss Zelda, their beloved teacher and mentor. But I know that Princess Zelda's duties are wider ranging than that. Take care, Princess, and return to us soon. Simon! Hi. Simon, Simon, I don't know how you say your name. Oh, it's you, Link. Haven't seen you in... Link, you're back? Ah, oh, my apologies for the outburst. C clearly, you're back in town, then. But what of Princess Zelda? Well... Ah, uh, Princess Zelda is still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school, you see. She cared so much about the children. I'm sure this would be the first... one of her first stops if she had returned. Right now we're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. Class is from morning until noonish, so please stop by the classroom on the first floor. Okay. Oh, can I ring the bell? <laughs> okay. Cool beans. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here for now. I'm gonna go work on giving shrooms to everybody else and I'll find out what happens with the mayor thing. I'll try to record that. If not, I'll tell you what happens. Um, and I'm gonna try to sit in on a lesson about history. I wonder if it's gonna do different Zelda lore or if it's just gonna do the Calamity lore. I don't know, but we'll find out. And I'm wet again. <sighs> okay, sis. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.